Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have a whip and chat, and it's on time. Um, if you don't know what a whip and chat is, that is a, uh, when I work on my current whip, WIP, which is work in progress, and you can pull out whatever it is that you are working on. Uh, it could be a household project. It can be a craft project. It could be while you're working. It can be while you're pretending to work, while you're driving to work, while you're driving around, while you're running errands. While you're doing stuff at home, while you're doing anything, honestly, there's no right way or wrong way to whip and chat. Um, it's a great way to feel like you're hanging out with somebody to pass the time while you are working on a diamond painting yourself. Uh, if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay and I do mainly diamond painting and some other crafting related content. I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express, let's be friends uh, if you've been here before. Hi, welcome. So this is all I've got left. Um, I know this is very satisfying to... Ooh, peel that off. Um, I know that I've been working on this. This is the fourth whip and chat that I have done with this diamond painting. But at the time of this recording, I have only worked on this. This is day eight out of the month, like in total. So, um, ooh, I got a silver thread on my arm. But I hope that you guys are well. My daughter is still awake. What a surprise. And I am going to work on this and chat with you guys. Um... I hope that you are all well. The next time you see me after this will be a post review for this diamond painting, um, God willing. And then I should have some other unboxings and hopefully some fun things like that for you guys. I'm so excited. Um, how are you guys? I gotta say this. This has been a week. Uh, last week, if you remember, I uh, we ended last week with my daughter getting um, what we had hoped was just some irritation to something she ate. Uh, spoiler alert, it was definitely a stomach bug, and it ripped through the whole house. And I'll tell you guys about that. I'm not going to give you guys, like, details, so if you're like, oh, I don't want to hear that kind of stuff, don't worry. It's not going to be, like, uh, he hit Captain's Log, you know. Um, I feel like my arm was on something. Anyway, so I don't have that much. I'm going to just do a little bit of the color blocking right now. Um, if you guys see me putting something down on my canvas, which I don't know if I will or not, it's just a uh, release paper. So um, Sunday, last Sunday, we were just letting her recover from her stomach bug. And um, that meant no, we usually do McDonald's on Sunday mornings for breakfast. Um... You know, it's funny, I talk about this, and I've talked about my daughter's love of old McDonald cheeseburgers, but fun fact, my daughter, I don't think, has ever been inside of a McDonald's. That's not true. Pre-pandemic, she was inside one that had one of those, uh, uh, oh my god, what are they called? The play areas. I don't remember what they're called. I don't think she ate McDonald's really then. I don't know. Anyway. That's not really important to the week. So, <laughs> this week was a lot of just relaxing at times and then go, 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 go. Which I guess is pretty typical of, you know, I'm going to put that down actually, of a lot of things. Um, if anybody is curious, you can use non-parchment, or I'm sorry, non-stick uh, non parchment paper. Um, as well. Always make sure that it is parchment and not wax paper. Um, but I had somebody ask me why I do this and it's simply so I can put my tray down and put my hand down and not stick to whatever it is that I'm working on. Um, this is a big piece and I just don't cut it down. That's personal preference. So I'm going to put my water on it though to keep it down on the other end. Anyway, I'm so discombobulated. Uh, my husband's walking in. I can hear him coming up those stairs. But yeah, we did absolutely nothing last week on Sunday. So say hi, husband. Hello. So Monday, Monday we had our very last session with speech and as expected, Briar did great. And, you know, um, I think I talked about this a little bit when I was talking about our IEP meeting. They are going to change our speech and our occupational therapy both to, um, it's not going to be in-person 
sessions the way they are now. They'll both be on as a consultant. And basically, the point of that is that once Briar is in a classroom, if any of her skill sets start to regress, instead of fighting to get a new service added, even if it's a service you've previously had, it's a lot easier to do it this way. Because then they're still technically her providers. They're just only doing um, four consults a year. And we can always add more if we need to. Um, or not need them at all if we don't need them. But I'd rather have them and not need them than to wait. Especially when you look at how long like the waiting list for everything are right now. Um, so we did that and we went to Duncan. It was super sad. I know her speech teacher loves her. And we know it's bittersweet because we know that Briar doesn't have a need anymore to be in speech the way she is. Uh, Briar's speech and language skills are unreal, to be completely honest with you. You guys, you hear her rambling away um, in the background of my videos. If this is your first time here, I record while my child is um, napping and then after she goes to bed. Uh, so most of the time she's still very much awake and um, you know, you can hear her in the background. Uh, sorry, that feels very off center. So I was just trying to fix that. But um, they want to measure her social language skills, but they can't do that until she's in a peer setting. And, you know, they can see how she interacts with other adults, but those are not her peers. The way she responds to an adult is going to be different than the way she responds and, and reacts to another child. So, um, but as of this this point, if you guys are watching this, like, in present time, my daughter meets her teacher next week. And, um, and then the following week, like, six days later, she actually starts school. So, um, and actually I was talking to Malin, who owns Lola Rose, which, if you guys didn't know, I'm working on Unicorn by Lola Rose Diamonds. Um, I'll link the unboxing for that one up in the eye. This is such an adorable kit, and I cannot wait to share... Ooh. To share all of my thoughts with you guys. Um, this will be available for sale uh, this fall. So, um, she was saying something to me about how Briar is going to be like the best dressed kid in school. And, um, you know, her wardrobe is going to be popping. And I was like, you already know all of the outfits for the first week of school have already been picked out and laid out. <laughs> Everything's already there. The shoes aren't there because obviously she's still wearing her shoes. But anyway, so... We did that, went to Duncan. Um, the pumpkin cold foam chai latte, maybe? Is that what it's called? I don't know. That thing was delicious. Um, I'm very excited for pumpkin season. Tell me what your favorite, if you're a pumpkin lover. If you don't like pumpkin, then don't worry about it. But if you are a pumpkin lover, tell me what your favorite pumpkin order at Duncan is. Um, I like Starbucks. They're significantly more expensive. And the Starbucks near us always always doesn't matter what time of day it is it always has an insane line at the drive-thru and um I, that's it i don't have like <laughs> i'm not gonna take my kid out of the car to run into the store there we go you were okay so this kit if you've never been here before has regular 5200 and then also glow in the dark 5200 so i have to be really careful if i drop a white drill on my canvas a lot of times they just kind of get sacrificed because I don't know if it's white or glow-in-the-dark white unless I pull out the UV light, which, if you guys did not know, a little UV flashlight will show you the glow. I'm showing you this as if... Let's see. I don't know if you guys can... Oh, that's totally out of frame. Huh. So you guys can see it's glowing a little bit. Maybe not because of the... Um, uh, light pad underneath. Sorry. You guys, this is going to be a long one, it feels like. I'm all over the place. Which, I mean, what's new? But, um, went to a local restaurant for lunch. We go there a lot after, well, we used to go after Kinder Music a lot, but after therapy, uh, they get a kick out of Briar. They all know her by name. Um, 
Let's see. I hope that you guys can't hear that in the background. My husband is watching House for the, I don't know, 5,000th time. He watches it every single year. Like, without fail, he'll get to a point and be like, you know what? There's nothing on TV for me to watch, so I'm going to binge watch House again. And I would say it's got to be at least in the double digits that you've watched this series, right? I mean, Close to it, if not? Yeah. Um, and it's funny because he's like, you know, the more I watch it back, not necessarily this time, but the last time he was like, the more I realize that, like, some of this stuff definitely would not fly today. And I'm like, oh, really? But isn't it always that way with anything? Um, do you guys like what house? House. Do you like house? I can't speak at all, which is great because I'm literally sitting here for an hour recording me talking. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about House MD TV show from, I don't know how many years ago it was, but. 15? Maybe more? Yeah. It was from before we were together, right? Yeah, yeah. Which, I'm just trying to think when I was introduced to it. So, okay. My husband and I are going to be celebrating our 10-year anniversary in like a month and a half, which is insane. And Briar goes, Daddy, you have an anniversary? And he's like, yeah. And then he, she just looks at me and she goes, do you? Yes, Briar. My anniversary is the same as Daddy's. It's the day Mommy and Daddy got married. And she's like, no. She's on a really big marriage kick right now. Like, you'll sit there and listen to her when she does her pretend play, and her stuffed animals are getting married. She's constantly wanting to marry us. Um, she told my mother-in-law that she wants to marry her. Uh, you know, the whole, like, we're related to you, it's illegal, doesn't matter to her, because she's, you know, four. But it is, she's just, like, she really wants to have, like, a wedding, and to wear the dress, and to have the flowers. And I'm like, I don't know where any of this came from, because... It's not like she's looking at our wedding photos, although I have shown her, but I don't know where it's coming from, but it is super cute, um, and it's just so sweet and innocent. It kills me, because sometimes this kid has some of, like, the sweetest moments ever, and then other days you're just like, ugh. Speaking of which, okay, this is a question for all the people who've been there before us. Does nighttime routine just progressively get more and more difficult the older they get? Because it used to be I could literally walk in and just, like, put her to bed, walk away, say goodnight, and that be it. And now it's, like, 15 minutes to just get her to go sit on the toilet. And then what are you doing in there? You've been in there for 10 minutes. And then wash your hands. I don't want to. Wash your hands. I don't want to. Wash your hands. She doesn't have a problem washing her hands any other time of the day except for at nighttime. And then brush your teeth. And then it's an argument, and then it's running around the room, and it's literally, like, the most exhausting thing ever. And I just need to know, is it just going to get worse the older she gets? Because this was not like this. Even a couple months ago, it wasn't this bad. And it's like, we know what she's doing. She's delaying the inevitable. Like, that's, that's not... It's... I wouldn't be surprised if someone's like, oh, that's what she... Yeah, of course that's what she's doing. I'm, I'm, we're aware. But, like, oh, uh, oh, uh, For real, I'm going to have to tell her, like, if she can't get her butt in gear, then we're going to have to move bedtime up because I'm not spending, sometimes it'll take like a half hour plus to go to bed. And I'm like, not even to go to bed, to just get her ready for bed. Um, cause like she's definitely still awake and she'll probably be awake for a while because that's just her MO. Anyway, total tangent. Um, but, anyway, the restaurant that we go to, they have these little teapots, and they switch them out. They're all, like, decorative teapots. I'm sure they are functional. But she was like, that's an apple. I was like, that's a bell pepper. And she's like, I don't think so. It was definitely a bell pepper, but all of them were, like, fruits and vegetables, and it was so cute. And then I was talking to my mom, and she's like, I used to collect teapots. Now, listen, I'm almost 40 years old. I don't remember my mother ever collecting teapots. <laughs> If my sister's watching this, she's probably either, like, with me on that or, like, shaking her head and being like, are you crazy? You don't remember the 700 teapots mom had? No. My mom was in a, into a chicken phase for a while. That was fun. There was, like, tiny little chickens all over our house. Not real chickens. Um, like, decorative you chickens. You don't remember the teapots. Are you sure they weren't real chickens? Yep. Positive. Um, but, Yeah. I don't know. We don't really have any, like, decorative things in our house. My husband and I are not really, like, grown-up adults. 
Like, we're both grown-ups, and we're both adults, but neither one of us are, like, grown-up adults. You know what I mean? We don't have grown-up decorations. I don't have a box full of decor. I just kind of, like, put out what I feel when I feel, and then, like, most of the time it stays up all the time. Like, I still have pumpkins behind me that were there from last year, and if I had the opportunity to, I'd leave them there all the time. By the way, if you guys have any interest in any of the accessories that I am using at any point in this video or any other video, please let me know down below. Um, so anyway, we did that, and then we went and got ice cream at night because we were all excited that, you know, she was feeling better. We were back to normal. Then Tuesday, we wake up, uh, get ready for ice skating. We're in the car, and I said to my husband, you know, I'm definitely not feeling great. I just, I just felt not great. And during her lesson, I actually had to excuse myself. And that's when I realized that whatever she had, she had now passed along to me. And um, I took myself, obviously, out of the situation. And I went to the car and I just kind of um, laid down to the best of my abilities. I do have a car seat behind my seat in the car. So I pulled the seat up as far as it could go and then just reclined it as much. I mean, I made sure that it wasn't hitting the car seat. Um, and then once she was done, which I missed the majority of her lesson, once she was done, uh, my husband came out. He took me home and then the two of them went and got lunch together and shortly after that, then my husband also wasn't feeling well. Now listen, parenting while sick is one of the hardest things you will ever do if you are a parent. Um, parenting while both parents are sick is my actual nightmare. Um, very rarely does my husband get taken out by her sickies. I do. Everything she gets, she passes along to me. But not everything that she gets, my husband catches. So I was hopeful that, like, it's it's not going to hit both of us. It hit both of us. And it took us both out for, like, two days. And we were That's literally the just... the most I've ever slept. We were only a couple hours apart. So I was like, even if I felt better before him, it was only the difference of a couple hours. It was one of those things that, like, I slept and slept and slept and slept. And then... At one point, we swapped positions because um, we actually only have one cable hookup in our in our house. Um, and my child does not have her own tablet. My child does not have a TV in her room. So it wasn't like we could just be like, we're going to just put something on in her room, give her a snack, give her a drink. Like, she's she couldn't go to the bathroom by herself. You know, all these things. Like, we literally had to sit there and one of us had to sit with her while the other one laid down in bed. And then after however long, we switched. Um, it worked. It wasn't great. Briar had, a, like, a mac and cheese cup one day. And I don't even remember. Uh, I think we... No, I don't remember what the other day was. But it was just like, okay, you want TV? Here's the TV. Like, we, we phoned in parenting about as hard as you possibly could. It just, oh, you guys, it was awful. It was awful. And, um, you know, for the most part, like when, when we're sick, Briar doesn't get it. She's just like, well, you're here. Come play with me. Or like, let me jump on you. Or, you know, like, no, 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 kid. Like, I need you to just, just sit over there. Don't touch mommy. And we'll be okay, you guys. We were both so sick, and I was worried maybe it was COVID. Um, I had the worst leg pain. Like, it felt like my legs were being pulled, and I was just having these shooting pains and pressure. Like, I assume it's sort of what growing pains feel like, but I don't remember ever having growing pains. Um, I didn't really grow that much, uh, but it was brutal. So Brian took a test and it came back negative. And I was like, well, there's no point in me testing if you came back negative. I know that there are some people that'll say like, well, if, you know, it, it may have shown up for one, but not the other. And, you know, 
Anyway. It's always a possibility, but the odds are Right, exactly. Extreme. And Especially it just... It just, it was brutal, you guys. It was awful. Um, so then we found out that the Philadelphia Eagles, which if you guys are not sports people, is the uh, Philadelphia football team. They had to, like, cancel training camp because there was a massive stomach bug going around. So, like, there's definitely, not that we know anybody in the Eagles, but um, we're definitely this area. Like, we just, oh, you guys. I can't even begin to describe how awful it was. But basically, for two days, we just phoned it in as much as humanly possible because, like, what else were we going to do? Parenting while sick is definitely not for the week. Um, I'm going to... You guys see me moving around a bunch of stuff. That's just because um, I need to. I don't know why I just sang that. Um, I think my timer is dying, FYI. Again, things nobody asked about, but I'm sharing anyway. Because um, that's why you guys are here, right? You're here to hear all the weird, mundane details. So, that was Tuesday. Um, and <laughs> subsequently Wednesday. Uh, and then Thursday, at some point, the dentist office had called. And I was... I don't know how I didn't get the message. So like, I guess they, like, double booked. And, um... I called them back, but they weren't open, so I spoke to them on Thursday. Her appointment was Thursday, which, uh, do you guys know the best time to go to the dentist? It's 2.30. Uh, and the crowd roars, ah, sorry. Um, I'm channeling my inner Chris and Kel. If you guys don't follow them, you should. I'm gonna leave their channel linked down below. Um, they are both fans of Dad Jokes. And I think that one, if not both of them, would appreciate that dad joke. Um, anyway. So, we called and Thursday, by Thursday, we were feeling like a thousand percent better. Um, but I spoke to the dentist's office and they were like, no, come on in, blah, blah, blah. So, we came in, we walk in and my husband goes to me, is that one of the girls from Briar's class? And I look over. So for a while over the summer with her head teacher, she had been doing these sessions. It was her and a set of twins. The twins were just a little bit older than her. They turned five right before the school year. So they were heading to kindergarten, but they still wanted to do um, sessions before school started. And they were paired with Briar. And this was a way for them to all work on like social skills and, you know, interact with other kids and lo and behold it was one of the twins and it was funny because i said to my husband forever ago i don't know which twins which well now i do because there was only one of them and um it, it was it just it was very coincidental that they were there but we took my daughter to her very first dentist appointment um it first of all you guys this place is gorgeous it is a pediatric dental facility so, no, no grown-ups, no adults, no, no me, and, and they were so good with Briar, they, they had a TV on the ceiling to get them to, you know, stay still while they were in their mouths, they counted her teeth, they let her touch all of the tools, and they were explained to her before she used them, before the dental hygienist used them, so that Briar knew what the, the the point of them was and what they were going to do with it. And uh, she did phenomenal, you guys. I was blown away. I wasn't sure between the fluorescent lights and all the sounds, like how she would do. And um, we found out what I already assumed, that my daughter is going to need braces. Um... Not because of her teeth, but because of her jaw. Her bottom jaw is uh, pretty deep set. And she's always had an overbite. And I kind of always assumed. But they were like, well, we'll start talking about the referrals when she's seven. And I'm like, seven? They start talking about orthodontists at seven? Like, 
Damn, I mean, I'm not saying that they're going to start her at an orthodontist, but the process of a referral, like, that's just crazy to me. Um, I was one of those kids, I lost my teeth late, I got my braces late, um, I had braces for what felt like a thousand years, um, but yeah, Briar has great, healthy teeth, we want to keep them that way. Her teeth are very tight together, which is not very common for baby teeth which means that she has like no room in her jaw which is one of the other reasons why we kind of assumed braces would be in her cards uh so that is you know something i guess uh to look forward to one day and the financials for that uh, i'm not ready you guys and i know i don't have to be ready but like damn um There are a couple other symbols right here that I keep being like, just put those down first so you don't keep questioning if you place the right amount of drills down. I might need to refill this placer, and I don't want to. But anyway, we went to the dentist. It was great. I mean, I was shocked, and I had told her, if the dentist office doesn't give you stickers, because when I was a kid... Tell me how it was at your dentist growing up. But when I was a kid, my dentist always had, like, one of those little red, like, radio flyer wagons. And you could go and grab a sticker. They had temporary tattoos. They had, like, you know, like, the fake Dracula teeth and things like that. Like, the real cheap stuff. Um, which, you know, looking back on it, it, what else was I to expect? Um, but I had told her if they didn't have stickers that I would take her to get stickers. Now, she didn't remember, but, you know, I'm, I make good on my word. So, we went on a mission to go to the dollar store. So, my husband's like, oh, there's one over in the shopping center by the supermarket. And I was like, there was? Well, there's a reason that we didn't, we had never been there before. Um, it looked like somebody had just set it up for their family members. Like, there was, like, nothing in there. It was very... Very weird layout. There was, like, no crafting materials. But there was an entire aisle dedicated to, like, birthday party stuff. But not, like, cool birthday party stuff. So we were like, alright, let's go to another one. And we went to another dollar store, which, like... Listen, I know that the one dollar store is now the dollar twenty-five store. That's fine. I have no problem with that. I don't like the dollar store where it's like everything is in an increment of a dollar. But then you go in and there's stuff that's twenty-five dollars. Just give me everything that is around a dollar like makes it easier for me i went pick something up off the shelf at this dollar store and i don't know if that was a dollar tree or dollar general or dollar i have no idea what dollar store was and i was like holy moly this is more expensive than the stuff at walmart and you know not that walmart is expensive but just like you would expect the dollar store version of it to be cheaper than the walmart version but anyway, we got, I got a couple little crafting things that we can do in the car at restaurants for, you know, $2, $3, whatever. Um, and the one was this little Minnie Mouse travel pack. And it had markers and crayons, or markers and papers and stickers. And so she was, she was satisfied with that. And uh, she has since filled every single page from that book up. Um, I really think I need to change the wax. I don't want to. I'm going to. This is my super official plan. Sometimes I just smush it with my fingernails and then hope that that kind of recharged it for a little bit. Um, this kit has so much color blocking, but it also has so much confetti. And, uh, I like the mixture of it, but while I'm doing the color blocking, I want my multi-placer to stay full. <sighs> Where am I at? Oh, so we were going to, uh, towards my mother-in-law. So Brian's like, why don't we call mom and see if she wants to meet us for dinner? And we're like, okay, so we're on the phone with her. And at this point, we're starving and it's like... It's not even five o'clock. It is so early, but I was just like, whatever, let's, let, let's just, let's not waste any more time. So we call his mom and 
we were talking to her and we're like, oh, what are you doing for dinner tonight? And she's like, oh, my brother and his wife actually just brought me Olive Garden, which is like her one super special meal. And um, we're like, oh, we were going to invite you to Haas's. And basically she's like, I don't like Haas's. <laughs> In a nutshell, she's like, their hamburgers, they're terrible. The chopstick, it's terrible. So basically everything that she would order is terrible. And I, we're like, okay. So then we're like, well, this, we're going to quick pivot and head back towards Haas's because now we're not going to pick up his mom, you know. Um, but we went and um, it was funny because if you guys don't know what Haas's is, I've talked about this before. It is a like place that has this huge salad bar. It's pretty mediocre, but, like, sometimes you just want a salad bar. You know what I mean? What? Well, that's what I was getting to. So, we didn't know this until after we had been to Haas's. I don't even know how many times. The one waitress said to us, you know, kids five and under, they eat free on the salad bar with the purchase of any adult meal. And we were like, really? So, for us... There's more than enough on the salad bar that we don't need to worry that, like, our kid's not going to eat dinner. Even if your kids don't like salad. Um, like, they have hard-boiled eggs, and they have nachos, and they have macaroni, and they have some pasta salads, and there's a lot of other options. And my kid does like vegetables, but this is just, you know, for those who maybe have a slightly more picky eater. And so we were like, well, this is totally worth it because we're paying, you know eight bucks, nine bucks, whatever it is for a kid's cheeseburger that she's going to eat four bites out of and we're going to have to pay for it or we can just do the salad bar and it's free. Um, so I like to, when we order, say, and kids eat free still, right? Um, because some places, if you don't tell them, hey, we're going to do the kid eat free, whatever. They're not going to take it off your menu, off your bill. And, um, ain't nobody got time for that. So he's like, uh, they do. How old is she? Now, this is a young guy. And I'm thinking, my kid definitely looks younger than she is. And I was just like, this guy probably has no idea the difference between, like, a three-year-old and a seven-year-old. Young kid, I would guess is like maybe 20. Um, and I was like, she's four. And he's like, oh yeah, then uh, I guess she does. And I was like, okay. So we ended up doing that. Briar ate okay. But man, we learned two things. One, if you go to Haas's like super, super early, everybody that's there is old. Um, and two... You apparently need to either wear overalls or suspenders or have someone at your table or be in the vicinity of somebody else's table that is wearing suspenders or overalls. It was like, holy moly. Um, we do live, my husband and I live in the suburbs, but we live in a very rural area. Um, so, yes, there's a lot of, like, suburb near us, but, like, you go down the street and it's, like, fields of cows and farms, like, corn everywhere um take a sip of water everybody hydrate hydrate stay hydrated um and then i think that was really it for thursday it was it was her behavior was pretty awful thursday was hard it was just it was just oh, i'm losing i'm losing my patience i feel like i've got two speeds with my kid well, the one where i have absolutely no patience and literally anything she does is going to set me off or the I have way more patience than any human being should ever have um, where I can get down to her level and you know let's talk about it you're allowed to feel your big feelings blah 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 the new thing right now and I think a lot of this has to do with it keeps happening when she's tired is like the other night I said to her we were in the car and I was like what is upsetting you and she didn't know, but then she insisted that I tell her what's upsetting her. And I said, I don't know what's upsetting you, kid. I don't, I don't know what's going on in your head. I don't know what's going on in your body. Like, I don't know. I can't tell you the answer to this. And then it's a lot of frustration because she feels like I'm withholding the answer from her. 
And it just turns into repeating the same thing over and 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 over for like the rest of the car ride. Like it literally was 10 minutes of like, mommy, tell me how I'm feeling. What's going on? How, what am I feeling? Mommy, mommy, mommy. And then when you tell her, no, we're done, then it amps her up even more. And it's like, oh my God, it is so frustrating. And it just keeps happening. And I'm like, it doesn't have to be about what she's feeling. It could be something else, but it's, it's the same concept. Like, she'll yell at us about the music. The music's too loud, so I'll turn the music down. Turn the music back on. And I turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. And just over and over and over. And it's like, all right, kid, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't today. I can't tomorrow. I can't ever. I'm going to, I'm going to snap. I'm going to lose my mind. Um, but anyway. <laughs> As I sit here talking about my crappy parenting days, um, Friday, we decided to go to a restaurant. We tried to go another time. It had been highly recommended to us. It is a Mexican and Central American cuisine restaurant. Um, I enjoyed the meal, but that's not what I'm here about. Two things. I've got two things to talk about. One... For all of my friends who speak Spanish as their native language, I have a question for you. Is it better that I attempt to pronounce something on the menu and totally butcher it or just point to it when I order? Because I attempted to order whatever we ordered and it definitely was not what I ordered. Um, like we ordered pupusas and I ordered one that was... I don't even remember at this point. I think it was supposed to be pork and cheese. And I got one that was potato. Be, uh, and then the other one was cheese. And it was supposed to be cheese. But the one the other, the other, one that was potato, I definitely did not order a potato. And I was like, I don't know if that was like I butchered it. Or she misheard me. Or what. This restaurant, I'm just going to say, um, was very loud. Besides the fact that they had... Tons of people in there. Just everything in there was loud. So we're sitting there and um, this order of fajitas comes out and Briar is craning her neck to watch it. And we're like, well, I get it. You know, that's exciting. Um, but then we couldn't figure out why is she still staring? Like the, the smoke had subsided. Like it, it can't be that exciting still. Um, and then my husband noticed that there was a TV on behind her that I don't think she realized until she tried to get the fajita, to watch the fajitas. Um, and it had a cartoon movie on. I think it was Home, I think is what it's called, yeah. uh, with Rihanna. I think she's an alien. I don't know. I've never seen it. But um, if you guys are new here or you've never heard me say this, I don't. My kid doesn't watch TV. She gets one episode of Mickey um, or My Little Pony pretty much before bed. And sometimes we'll let her watch some Bluey episodes here and there because they're only seven minutes. Um, and I've had people say to me, like, they think, oh, like, that's so good of you. You're so concerned about your daughter's brain development. And I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, that's not it. When I tell you my child turns into a zombie when the TV is on, I, I literally mean, like, she will stand there and it's just like the lights are out. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Does not matter what's going on around her. Like, I, I used to tell people, like, my house could be on fire and she wouldn't notice because she's so distracted and, like, literally cannot focus on anything else. And that's the only thing that matters. And... Um, she has a really hard time transitioning out of that. So for our sanity and, you know, hers, she doesn't understand it. Uh, we just don't do TV throughout the day, uh, which is really hard because, you know, like when she goes on play dates, which she doesn't really do in a long time, but, um, I don't think I've ever been to somebody else's house that has a child her age or close to her age. What am I stuck on? Um, and the TV not be on the entire time. And when I tell you guys, like, my child is, she's not there. I literally had to wave a fork in front of my child and snap at her every time I needed her attention. 
And some people might not think it's that big of a deal, but she doesn't remember to eat. She doesn't remember to drink. She doesn't realize she has to go to the bathroom. Like, there are reasons we don't do this. And there's nothing I can do at this point. It's already on in the restaurant. And I can't just be like, hey, can you turn that movie off? Because it's not my place. And it just, it was, you guys, it was so hard. I was just, this is why I get overwhelmed and say, like, I'm, I'm asking professionals for help with my kid. And I can't get her in anywhere. And Like, we finally got her into see the virtual therapist. But my kid figured out what was going on in the session, be, like, halfway through. And then knew what the rest of the session was going to look like. And I'm like, that's great. Like, she's super, super smart. But it doesn't help us when, like, they're not seeing really who she is. Which my husband and I have a follow-up session with the the doctor, just him and I, this week. So, we'll see how that goes. But if, like, this is going to be how it is every time, like, I don't think this is going to be worth the money for us to do, personally. Um, I know it was total tangent, but, <sighs> you guys, that that whole situation with lunch, I, I, ugh, mm. After lunch, we went home. Um, and we were going to do, as my daughter said, I want to do something fun. And we had told her we are going to do something fun, but here's the deal, kid. Um, and she took an hour and a half to have lunch because this damn movie was on. And the new struggle that we're dealing with right now is it always seems to happen on the last bite of whatever it is that she wants to be eating where she just thinks if she holds it and squirrels it in her cheeks long enough that nobody will notice that she hasn't eaten it. But then she gags on it and has to spit it up all over herself. It's really fun. Um, and if you guys did not know, my daughter spent nearly two years of her life in feeding therapy for um, feeding issues, inability to swallow properly, um, aspirate on thin liquids, a lot of really boring stuff. Excuse me. Not that anybody's feeding issues are ever like, oh, that's so exciting. You know what I mean? Like it just, it, but it just, I don't understand why this is the new thing. And then she can't figure out how to swallow what's ever in her mouth, but she doesn't understand. Like when you're in school, like a, a teacher or an adult that's in there isn't going to encourage you to swallow what's ever in your mouth or catch it when you're trying to spit it up all over yourself. And she can't figure out how to spit into a napkin, which is super fun. Like, she literally, like, gags it all over herself. So, sorry if that's too much information for somebody, but this is real life here, you guys. So, um, after her nap, we decided now is the time that we are going to do fun stuff. We had to go to, it's called the West Shore. Harrisburg area is separated by the... Susquehanna River, everything to the east of it is the East Shore. Everything on the west of it is the West Shore. The East Shore is Harrisburg and its surrounding areas. The West Shore is Mechanicsburg and the surrounding areas. It's minutes across the bridge. It, it's super, super easy, but people act like one shore is so far away from the other. Anyway, we were going to the West Shore to pick up an order of handmade clothing. There was a girl who I had previously met through a craft show, and she crocheted these giant giant dinosaurs for my daughter and a friend of my daughter's so that when they when they moved away it was a little way that the girls could remember each other um I honestly don't know if either one of the girls remember each other at this point but not the point um but she has since reopened her creative avenues making handmade clothing and I was super excited so we went to pick up the order which was super super cute um, I'll leave her shop linked down below. Um, she does do babies and kids. I don't know what size she goes up to, but she also does sublimation on like t-shirts and sweatshirts and also, um, does adult things like that as well. So, um, 
the stuff is super cute, but we were chatting because I haven't seen her in a couple years now. And it was just really nice to pick up the stuff. And then we just made an adventure out of the rest of our day. We went to Spirit Halloween, which this spirit was so much bigger than the last one we went to. And they had so many of the decorations. My daughter likes to go to, like, the jump scare decoration part. They always have the displays up where you can stand on, like, the welcome mat. And it would be, like, a simulation of what would happen if you had trick-or-treaters at your house or people at your house. And it was so much fun. We walked through everything that, like, jumped out of Briar. So, first of all, let me tell you guys a cute little story. Um... If something scares Briar, she'll giggle and go, <laughs> I scared you. Instead of like, that scared me. Or like, you scared me. Like, it's, I scared you. And so she was doing it and saying it to some of these things. It was so cute. And then we went over and she was asking me about like, what's this zombie baby eating? Why is this zombie baby eating this? Why is that zombie baby eating a brain? Why do zombies eat brains? Why does this zombie have bugs? There was a lot of zombie babies, you guys. Um, and... Then she wept, like openly wept, because she wanted another skeleton. She wanted a big skeleton this time, and we didn't let her get it, and um, it was making her sad. It was, it was definitely sadness that we didn't get it, not like mad at mommy and daddy for not buying it. Um, and then my husband was like, okay, look, you can, you can get, you want this... She was really into the snake. And she, he's like, do you want the snake? And she's like, I want the snake. So we got her like a rubber snake. Cool. That's super fun. I was like, here's the thing, kid. You can't like throw that at people. They don't know that that's not real. And, um, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to like piss off a bunch of people with my little kid having them think that she's like throwing a real snake at them. Um, and then she proceeded to keep going, there's a snake in my pants. And I was like, nope, it's, there's a snake in my boot. There's a snake in my pants. I was like, nope, again, not in your pants. Why isn't there a snake in my pants, mommy? Can there be a snake in my pants? I was like, let's not, let's not put any snakes in our pants. Let's not talk about snakes in our pants. And, you know, then of course she thinks it's funny because she doesn't understand and she starts giggling and, um... We had a great time there, and then we went over to Lowe's, Home Depot, whichever one that was, and we got an inflatable. Now, hear me out. My husband and I promised her an inflatable. That's great. My husband and I have never had an inflatable. Um, so, we were unsure if they basically come with everything they need or not. Um, but I don't know if you've ever been to... A Home Depot or a Lowe's or anything similar to that. There is never an employee around ever when you need one. When you don't need anything, they're coming up to you in the aisle. Can I help you find something? Is there something that you guys are looking for? Anything I can help you with? But when you need somebody, nope, nowhere. So I kind of accosted a guy that was walking away. And he's like, is there something I can help you with, ma'am? And I was like, yes. And like you could see he was annoyed. He had to answer my question. Um, but I was like, I just need to know. Like, are these fully self-contained or do I need to also buy a fan to go with them and he's looking he's like you know I don't know and then he's like well I don't see any over there so I'm gonna assume that they're good so now we get back to the remember earlier when I told you guys my daughter was like well tell me why I'm upset okay so the same kind of behavior is happening here we give my daughter a decision do you like this one or do you like this one? And then, of course, it's a totally different one than we offered. Um, we were trying to stay, like, within budget. We don't want to, you know, get a giant and inflatable that's 10 feet tall with moving parts that costs 100 and something dollars. Like, that's not what we're trying to do. Um, we ended up getting a set that was three pumpkins together. Like, they're all connected. Uh, but she, like, didn't want to pick one of the ones that we were showing her. And then it turned into, I want this one. No, I want this one. And then I'd be like, okay, this is the one we're going to get. No, I don't want that one. And then she just cannot make a decision. And then it like stresses her out to the point that she's so overwhelmed. She's working herself up that is now making my husband frustrated, which I am like, okay, you need to calm down. Like to both of them, not, this is like a collective, like I'm going to, 
try to work through this again with her. We finally figured it out. We picked the one we wanted. Okay, everything was great. It was like, oh my god, though. It shouldn't be this much of a fight all the time for anything. But it is. It's like this all the time. And I know that kids are difficult creatures. Like, I get that. And I understand that her brain is still developing. And she... You know, sometimes I try to remind myself of that when I get in the heat of the moment. But, like, especially when she starts to get tired and she doesn't believe that she's tired, she just, she cannot make a decision about anything. And then if you go, okay, well, this is what it's going to be then, then, God forbid, it's now the wrong thing, and now you've upset her even more, and now you're dealing with trying to bring her back down and just resolve <laughs> whatever it is that she's getting upset at. It's... Oh my God, it's exhausting. Um, and I shouldn't complain because I love my child. I love her very much. But you guys, there are days that I just, I question my sanity. And then after that, we decided to go get dinner. There is this fantastic barbecue place that is on the West Shore. It's actually across the street from where she got her first haircut. And I don't know. They, their prices are fantastic. So, we got Briar just two sides instead of, like, little sliders. Um, she does better that way, usually. And she picked mac and cheese and corn. Ate almost all of the mac and cheese, like, right away. Um, like, it didn't even have a chance to cool down enough. And she was just, nom, nom, nom. And then she went back to wanting her, uh, her snake... <laughs> and her uh coloring set and this this was okay sorry i'm trying to pick up drills and tell you guys a story um so this is like we always put the kids meal in first because i want it to come out i don't want her to sit there you know hungry and bored and that just gives her too much ammunition so they brought her her stuff she ate it like super super fast and then decided okay it's time to play now, mind you, we hadn't gotten our dinner. I thought it was going to move a little bit quicker in terms of, like, bringing out the meals, but it wasn't. Um, that's okay. I'm not here to complain about that. Um, so, she hasn't eaten in a while now, and I keep saying, are you all done? Do you want any more? Because she originally was like, well, I'm going to want more than this. And we were like, if you finish this, kiddo, we'll get you another side. Like, no problem. And the sides are, you know the same size as what it would have gotten if she had gotten just something for herself. Oh my God. I'm going to run out of time to tell all these stories. Um, so long story short, she is freaking out because she is done and it is, uh, she's no longer in the seat. She's climbing around. She's starting to scream. Uh, and my husband let her know, like, you cannot disrupt other people. They come out to eat as well. They don't need to hear you screaming. They don't need to see you running. Or like, just sit down. Um, so he takes her outside. I pay. I, I get everything situated. And we're in the car. And she starts crying about how hungry she is. Mind you, she had just eaten dinner, you know, however many minutes ago. And is swearing up and down. She's starving. She's starving. And... Brian said, if you're so hungry, we'll stop on the way home and get you something. And it was more of a way to appease her. But either way, she kept saying it. Well, I'm so hungry. And we're like, what do you want, kid? What do you want? She's like, I want French fries. There's literally a McDonald's right in front of us. Like, it, you, you would have thought, like, the road would have opened up and went, ah. We're like, all right, here. Girlfriend ate all of those French fries. Almost every single one in that order. I was like, I don't understand how she's still hungry. The problem is she distracts herself and then she doesn't realize she's hungry until it's too late. So that was fun. That turned into a little bit of a, a shit show, if you will. So the next day is Saturday. Um, my husband has been on a mission to get sealant. He has placed orders at three different Michaels now and had it canceled. Uh, one of them was over by his mother's and we ended up having dinner with her on this night instead. And we took her to a restaurant. Briar ate ev like every single bite of food on her, pl every single 
bite of food on her plate, you guys. Everything. My favorite part about it was that my mother-in-law likes her burgers in a very specific manner, and Briar just kept talking all day long about how Gamma loves mayonnaise on her burgers, which she does, and then she wanted mayonnaise on her burger, and she did, and ate all of it, and I'm just like, how? first of all, how does she remember that that's how my mother-in-law orders her burgers? And also, like, is that the key now? Do we need to just get mayo every time we order burgers, and then <laughs> that'll solve the problem? But every single place kept canceling my husband's sealant. So he needs sealant for his pops. If you guys don't know, my husband is the data monster. All of his information is always listed down below. Um, for him to seal and uh, finish off his pops. And this particular sealant is only sold at Michael's. And every single online order he did for pickup got canceled. Um, so... Fast forward to today, which is now Sunday. Um, he placed it for another place and it went through. So this morning we had our McDonald's breakfast. Uh, since we didn't have it last week, it was very nice to have it. Um, not that I'm like, oh my God, McDonald's is the best. But like, it's just, it. this has been what our tradition is right now. Um, if you guys have any, like... Lazy Sunday family traditions. Let me know down below. I would love to hear them. But we did that. And then we ended up going to pick up this sealant. Which it wasn't super close. But it whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, and then my daughter wanted. I want to go somewhere that I can get crafts for me. Now granted Michaels has crafts for kids. But she didn't go in. My husband just ran in to get what he needed. And then get back in the car. And, um, there was a Target right there. So we went to the Target. Now we're in the dollar spot. I have all these little craft kits for her in the cart, you know, totaling what, like $3, $4, like nothing, you know? Um, that's going to stick to my canvas. Yep. Where did my tweezers go? Um, and she spotted this like rubber praying mantis in the dollar spot. Uh... And she decided that's what she wanted. She didn't want any of the other stuff. She just wanted the mantis. And I, we kept telling her, like, we're not going to switch it for anything else. Like, you can't change your mind. This is it. And she was like, okay. And she did pretty good. At one point, she thought, like, well, could I get this toy instead? And we were like, no. this You get the mantis or you get nothing. And I had to explain to her, you know, all the stuff that's in the dollar spot might not be there the next time we come. Uh, my husband and I often get the little coloring kits because they're so cheap and they're perfect for you know the diaper bag or the restaurant bag or whatever you want to call it um there's no diapers in there but I'm still calling it a diaper bag um but this kid was sitting in the back of the car with her praying mantis in one hand her stuffed animals that she had in the car with her in the other talking about weddings just having a grand old time and I was like you know what if this, like, $2 or $3 rubberized praying mantis brings her this much joy, like, who am I to, <laughs> to squash it? You know what I mean? Like, um, oh, this kid, I love her. Her imagination just runs wild. Uh, she's really fantastic at self-play, I will say. That's one of those things. Um, but the highlight, uh, was my brother's coming in, or he is in, um, he came in with his boyfriend. Uh, you know, I knew that they were coming in. They knew what my availability looked like. And then I didn't hear anything. So I wasn't sure if it was still happening. And then I called my mom and she's like, well, I have to go. Your brother's here. And I was like, oh, okay. So um, I'll tell you guys all about it next week's Whip and Chat. But I am actually going to see my brother tomorrow. This is the first time I've seen my brother in a couple years. Um, you know, the pandemic kind of made wanting to travel more difficult. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. My brother is not a kid person. Like, he doesn't have a problem with kids. He's just... He doesn't have friends with little kids. He's never around little kids. So... I think it's going to be a bit of a shock to him to see, like, this kid is, like, a full-fledged human being. 
Um, and I'm very excited for her to see her uncles. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll tell you guys all about that last week. But if you guys have made it this far, um, leave me a snake. A snake emoji. Um, or pants. You know. But don't put your snake in the pants. Ha ha ha. Um, but that's it. That's I think that's all I got for you guys. Um, hoping I can finish this tonight. I probably won't be able to finish it tonight. But if I can, great. If not, I'll finish it tomorrow, hopefully. Excuse me. Um... We've got a busy week ahead, but I will keep you guys all posted. Um, as always, I really appreciate each and every one of you. To those who reached out when we were sick, um, sending your well wishes and speedy recoveries, it, it did not go unnoticed. My husband and I both greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, but for now, I'm going to skedaddle. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this, or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come. Join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Dang. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. And I record when my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>